Welcome. My name is Penelope Chatterton. Welcome to Awaken the Dream. My friends, I have a guest back from New Hampshire. Her name is Diane Doheny. She is the communications director for Acropolis Books. We're going to talk about mysticism today, and we're going to try and help ourselves and you to understand it more on a level that it's not a mysterious phrase. It's something that is user-friendly and practical. So welcome back, Diane. Thank you. This is Thank so you. much fun. I know it you is. do all the work driving. <laughs> yeah. All I do is get out of bed and show up and crawl over here. <laughs> I just listen to Joel all the oh, way. I know. Tape. Well, that's true. You have a head start on <laughs> yeah, you there. But fun. you know, the fact that we're talking about mysticism, there are a lot of um, myths about mm -hmm that, that it's otherworldly, that it was only Jesus that did that, or Buddha that did that, or certain prophets that were mystics, and it can't be for everybody. But in fact, it is for everybody, and we have to talk about why that is, and, and help our friends who love the infinite way, Joel Goldsmith, who was a mystic, to understand how he not only got there, but what it means. How would you define it, if you could? Well, I, I, I borrow a definition that I heard that I really love, and it's by Ken Lazowski. Yeah. I've told you yes. about Ken. He's an infinite way teacher that is just marvelous. He says that theology is the study of God, religion is the worship of God, and mysticism is the experience of God. Oh. And I think that to me just that says it. It's, okay. you know, experiencing God is such a personal, private, it's very secret, sacred, and silent. Yeah. That's why our meditation practice is where yeah. we really do experience that yeah. communion. But to live in everyday life, we're going to be out there and someone's going to cut us off in traffic. <laughs> we're going to have Never. someone tell us that they are <laughs> ill. There's, the, there's a lot of reasons why we can leave the path of that experience. It's not our fault, but that's the human experience. I know. You know, going back to even thinking of going through childhood toys, distractions, mm -hmm. what our parents tell us we have to be frightened of, going to school, getting more of the same. Our governments talk about that. Our pharmaceutical companies tell us what's wrong with us. Mm -hmm. I mean, we are in a world that has just, it, and it's quite chaotic. The more we evolve, interestingly enough, I, I'm sure it's relative, but think of all the gadgets and the way that we get information that really can... Well, we're being bombarded by we're information We're being bombarded mm -hmm. with what to do if this happens and what to be afraid of. Mm -hmm. And so more apropos than ever is living the life of a mystic and understanding the infinite way that Joel really tried to help us deal with the chaos. And what's the chief word to get us there? It starts with an M. Mystic. Mysticism. Mysticism. <laughs> right. Mysticism, meditation. Mm -hmm. You said it in the hall, quiet. Mm -hmm. You know, it's hard sometimes when you're, as you say, sitting in traffic to think, how can I change this picture? But we can. Mm -hmm. Well, the thing that I try to remember is that um, it's like watching a movie. Oh. And our soul is not in the movie. No. You know, we're yeah. watching that movie. Yeah. And oh. yet, it's like, and that was just said to me recently. That's why I love talking with Infinite Way students yeah. because it raises the vibrational level it, and you share these stories. We know that the principles of the Infinite Way are based in scripture. They're based they on are. you know the master's words. Yeah. And yet Joel had a way of bringing it down to everyday level. Yeah. And something that was, we say user friendly, but truly it's practical to be able to do everyday life and yeah. know the truth. Yeah. And if we could narrow it down, yeah, God is. Yeah. But we know that the word God alone yeah. has brought people into a, um, you know, a, a way of trying to define what the nature of God is. Yeah. Joel does an explicit job of just trying to yeah. simplify. Yeah. And I think I told you earlier that, I, and I know this probably comes a little bit from the um, Christian science um, background that he had, yeah. but that if, and, and I don't know that it was Joel himself that said this, but if you could take the Bible and erase every word in it and just leave blank pages, you could narrow the message down to two words, God is. God is. And then if you took Mary Baker Eddy's book and, and were able to take you know, um, Science and Health yeah. and erase every word on that page, yeah. and, and she was a mystic as well, yeah. and then you'd be left with, and error isn't. Yeah. So God is, and error isn't. Yeah. Yeah. That's pretty simple. Yeah. 
It's interesting about mysticism too, I, and I, Joel has mentioned this, that we, it's not about attracting crowds, it's about being in the moment and when you think of oneness like the tree with all the branches mm -hmm. and we're connected, everyone who is connected to the source, consciousness, wherever we are and however we raise it, think it's, it's monumental how we spread, how we work with so many folks that we may never see, but it's the truth. Right. We attract consciousness sometimes where we are because there are stages of development in consciousness I have to say that because I know when mm -hmm. I fall off the path I can say okay I'm not here yet but it's okay right. I'm gonna get back on and remember invisibly the work we do attracts and helps consciousness as a whole as a healing energy mm -hmm. and power well he addresses that in world work as well yes. and you know when you go into the silence there is nothing else. Yeah. We, we go through levels trying to quiet the mind because there's a yeah. lot of conversation that goes on. <laughs> it's like filtering down I, to the place where there are different levels too yeah. of meditation. Yeah. And recently was in a class in, um, in Connecticut, in Stanford, and it was brought up again in this class that as you pre-pray or prepare for meditation, you are aware of the fact that there are different levels and that you do have that human consciousness which you have to bypass and get below and underneath yeah. and then you come to the student consciousness it's almost a contemplative meditation yeah. where you have a scripture in your mind or you have um, some thoughts that are going to bring you to the place of peace yeah. then you reach the level where there are no words there yeah. are no thoughts yeah. and I'd like to say I can get there every time I can't you know, and I know that that's, that's the, the reason I think people continually go back to it is, a, it is practicing the presence. Yeah. And when I say world work, and, and again, as Joel will define that, that is doing world work. It is. You know, to be able to sit quietly yeah. in a room by yourself yeah. and find that stillness does more to heal the world, I think, than, yeah. than all of And shift the war stories going through your head and, and make them nothing, nothing, nothing with nothingizing eyes. them. Mm -hmm. that's, that's the work that, that feeds the tree of life mm -hmm. and that feeds every soul in consciousness it, it's they say it goes way beyond what we know or what we can imagine because spirit is invisible right souls yes. are invisible and yes I, I sometimes laugh at, and you said <clears throat> excuse me before the show that Joel mentioned how he felt like a failure and he wasn't but there are days that we all do we mm -hmm. can't seem to find the quiet because we can't do it or we have too much and it's on true, our plate. We, can't. we never will be able to. <clears throat> Excuse me. We never will be able to. No. We will not do anything. Yeah. We can't succeed and we can't fail. Yeah. Of my own self, I can do nothing. And yeah. that's a hard concept to understand and to get because our ego then has to take the back seat. And that's when we say, Spirit, go before us. That's comforting to me, though. I, I and my father are one. He goes before me. I, have my, I cannot do anything on my own. Be my voice. Live my life for me. Be mm. my voice. Tell me what to do. You know, mysticism is interesting. You might think that it comes in a particular way. A message could come like a bolt out of the sky or the, mm. a thunderstorm would take off. But it can be a hunch, a feeling, mm -hmm. or something that you connect with that is on your mind that will come in the weirdest, funniest way, but you know it's an answer mm -hmm. because it fits. Right. It's intuitively knowing yeah. things that used to baffle you. You know, you can really truly go back to, you know, listening. That listening altitude. You yeah. know, it really does create a space in our lives where we are experiencing that silence yeah. as we walk through our everyday nine to five reality. Yeah. I don't think anyone masters this realm, but I think that it's a practice again. And as Joel was saying in that, you know, section we talked about, he felt as though he was a failure. And, you know, it's hard for anyone, any student of, of the Infinite Way to see if Joel was a failure. But what he finally realized when he reached that level of consciousness was that it was really um, to say that, yes, we are not, we're not a failure, when, but we are. I mean, how do I say this? It was almost as though he was saying that we cannot fail, and yet the part of us that is the mystic will never fail, it's always there. Yes. But that human experience will always fail. It will, you yep. know, try to succeed and try yep. to do it on its own. Yeah. You know, fuzzy concept in a way, but again, yeah. when you go back to the principles of the infinite way, they're so clear. To yeah. understand the nature of God, the nature of error, you yeah. know, and to continually reinforce that with the silence and the yeah. meditation. 
I think that's, yeah. those are the keys to, I think, understanding mysticism, really. Yeah. When you feel most lost or confused or exhausted or wigged out, it's interesting to remember that everything is perfect. Mm -hmm. and that's a time when you can just say, well, you know, you're being fed from within. Everything is always there for you. It's waiting for mm -hmm. you. So um, remember that when you get into the worst places, you know, it's, um, you just have to return right. to the source. What to say God is, you know, if we realize that all of us are an expression of that same spirit, it's like the spokes on a wheel, yeah. you know, when the hub is again God's yeah. spirit. Yeah. Everyone has a way of individually expressing that yeah. spirit. That's true. You have a show that, you know, lots of, you know, Infinite Way students are able to tune into. So it's God expressing through Penelope yeah. this, this television program. Yeah. Yeah. The calendar, which we'll talk about later, yeah. was an assignment that I received. I and it, it talk about spiritual fruitage. <sighs> It just came through that I was to do this calendar and, you know, yeah. thank goodness for Michael Krupp and Acropolis Books because it afforded me an opportunity to do yeah. something that I love, which is photography. Yeah. And Joel Boy, you're combined good. the two. You know, when you send me something that is a beautiful picture, you'll have to tell me how to shrink it a little bit because it's so beautifully huge and I love it. And I'm thinking I, I technically need to get you to show me that because your photography... <gasps> It's magnificent. Well, you, you know, this might be a good time for might you to hold, hold up. Sure. Hold up this. Let's start with Could the we... first one we did, which was um, it's this year, in fact. It's 2016, and yeah. this is the Contemplations calendar. And I guess if that's holding it, I yep. guess people can see that. And, you did that um, photography on the front? Yes, yeah. yes, yeah. And um, this is uh, based on the book The Heart of Mysticism. And I just want to show you the book because it's anyone that wants to learn more about this can go to acropolisbooks.com and they yep. can see yeah. that this was the book and this was where Joel took all the letters, all the student letters that he would answer and back and forth. And he really truly felt that the infinite way was so well defined and pronounced through those letters that his communication with his students was so important. Yeah. And so the quotes that were taken and the photographs that matched were in this calendar. What's nice about the calendar is it's a day-to-day, -day, it's a weekly, um, a weekly calendar, but the photographs and the quotes put everybody on the same page yeah. so that it's like laid, out, laid out in a way that, you know, there's also meditation spaces for people yeah. to write notes. You can reread so it. It doesn't have fun. to be the right day or the right month. No. You can pick it up anywhere. But talk about mysticism. That was the heart of mysticism. And then the second calendar, which we're just now finishing and have just completed. This is hot off the press. Ah, That's why I was so yay. glad to give you a copy. This is the 2017 edition Gorgeous. of Contemplations based on the foundations of mysticism. Yeah. which is how we began to talk and yeah. in this book and I, I <laughs> did you have that for breakfast <laughs> I was going to say this thing has been um, finally t I've gone through every bit of this it looks like the, the turkey after Thanksgiving I would not lend that every out. bit of meat <laughs> off this but this really truly to be in and to understand the, the foundations of mysticism he was in Denmark and he was asked to return to Hawaii to revisit the principles, the healing principles of the infinite way. And you know, at this level of Joel's development, his consciousness was so um, above and beyond maybe most of the students that yeah. were in his classes that yes. he almost went into isolation, basically, yeah. to, to get 20 classes, which this is. And so, again, this is like um, a combination kind of, but it really does go with this. Yeah. So, yeah. anyway, thank you for the opportunity. It's interesting, to too, when he would get up to lecture and sometimes he would feel empty and not know what to say or do, that he would just finally surrender and realize it would be taken care of, and it always was. Right. But mysticism, I was thinking about anyone can be anything, an artist, a writer, a janitor, a, a construction worker. Mm -hmm. Mysticism is something that doesn't wear a profession. It's something that all men and women here doing whatever can put into practice. Mm -hmm. And it is private and right. sacred. Right. And that's the key word about mm -hmm. that. And you know, I get a chuckle out of Joel. He said, even when I teach, I know that whoever is receiving it will receive it where they are. Right. You know, we can't mold anybody, but we can mm -hmm. only share. And he said the teacher also is such a winner in this because the teacher sometimes has more than the student receiving because the teacher's giving and sharing. Right. And it's such a beautiful experience. Sharing, sharing, giving, right. the source. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's, that's sharing the heart, right. no matter how that helping a neighbor. It, there are no, 
Uh, there are just every way you serve and help your mm -hmm. brothers and sisters. It's is, showing up actually as the vehicle or as the, yeah. the conduit of God. Yeah, the it's transparency. Like, you, know, you are that. You are that energy. You are that spirit. And um, we yeah. are the instruments of that. Yeah. And yeah, it's doing anything that we're doing, but being present with that throughout the day to take moments of reflection, yeah. two or three moments, just to close your eyes and yeah. say, "Okay, I'm going to put the world down for a couple of minutes." Yeah. I always say, I haven't forgotten you. Right. You know, I do this with my, <laughs> my clients in my office all the time. I'll say, you know, we always end with a meditation. And um, I'll say, did you have time this week to do that? No, I didn't have time. You know, to take five or ten minutes each day yeah. to begin our day, to visit the source, yeah. to give acknowledgement of where everything comes from, yeah. it's worthwhile. Yeah. <laughs> it's in the it's a worthwhile practice. The altitude of prayer, he mentions, if you just 20 times a day, your whole life would change if you check in. Absolutely. It doesn't have to be a long, it can be a moment, mm -hmm. it can be a minute. Mm -hmm. uh, just your whole life would change if you just remember. And I think because we have all of that within us and that's where we're going to go anyway. It's, we're mm -hmm. going to be taken there because nothing is going to satisfy us but the love that we give. That no matter where we are on our journey, on our incarnations, whatever, we're, we, we're home free. In many ways we're there mm -hmm. because we have it all. Now it's like plugging in the, the lamp, right. you know, checking in with the source and mm -hmm. knowing we are being lived through. Right, right. Yeah. So Individually. I, absolutely. And I guess as we've talked before, mysticism is that experience, you yeah. know, going through everyday life. You know, again, the infinite way is so, um, how do I say it? It's, it's very sacred, secret, and silent. Yeah. Um, there's not a lot of talk. When, we go to, when you go to infinite way classes, it's really truly about meditation and being one with the group yeah. of, of the community of, uh, of spirit. Yeah. And, and yet you and I to sit here and have a conversation, what an opportunity yeah. just to share, um, you know, certainly our love for the infinite way and Joel's work. Yeah. And, you know, a lot of people I, I maybe aren't familiar with, you know, or, yeah. or how they come to be familiar yeah. with the infinite yeah. way is, yeah. um, is by people demonstrating it. Yeah. in their everyday life. Yeah. As you said, doing your job, showing up, and being part of this world, you know, Joel said, you know, it feels sometimes like we're living between two worlds. We are not. Yeah. There is one world, there is one, you know, one God, one power, but yeah. you become something that is magnetic in a way. I think there's something in spirit yeah. Yeah. that has nothing to do with our ego. Yeah. Real humility is just realizing that that spirit is coming through. Yeah. Joel says people will come to us that are supposed to come to us on our journey as we evolve and change mm -hmm. and grow, that they come and they go and the ones that are supposed to go, go and the new ones are there and we mm -hmm. join with others and it's, it's magical. Mm -hmm. it, it's out of our hands and I think there's such a blessing in giving thanks all the time like, right. wow, I met her or I met him or I found this mm -hmm. or wow, everything is just... Right. And what they're really doing is leading God on the path. Uh, yes. They're recognizing within themselves and yes. within someone else, yeah. you know, that, that God spirit and yeah. that, that oneness. You know, that's why, again, I, I love talking with people who have the understanding of that spiritual path in the infinite way. Yeah. Because it raises the vibrational level. Yeah. It does truly yeah. um, bring you to, you know, heaven on earth, you yeah. know, the fourth dimension. Yeah. And I think that then anyone within the realm of that consciousness something's revealed yeah you know we talk about the word healing but i keep kind of reversing it using the word revealing you know yeah. if, if healing really is the truth being revealed yeah, yeah. then i think that that's you know yeah. really the study yeah you know it's interesting living in the present moment too it's like we can't worry about where we're going or the future because that's not really accepting the moment of mm -hmm. listening um having faith he i read something where he said gee having faith means that you hope or maybe you're, you want to go in a particular direction when really faith is in the moment mm -hmm. of receptivity and listening and really just embracing the grace, mm -hmm. the, the, the sweet presence. It's right. so simple that with our busy world that we have um, been born into, mm -hmm. it's quite the extreme for us to go there. It, it is, it is, and it's interesting because here we are having a conversation about mysticism. I don't usually talk about that at the supermarket, <laughs> no, no, unless I would run into another infinite Wait to be maybe, asked. But, yeah, exactly, yeah. and that's really truly made so present in his um, work, yeah. and yet 
when you do have the opportunity to either go to classes or to study. Yeah. It's a treat, isn't it? It really is. And, and then the silence. Yeah. In that silence, that's where I think, you know, we begin to realize mysticism is that experience yeah. within. Yeah. You know, it's, again, practicing and It's it. practical. It's attainable. Mm -hmm. right. And we can all be present now. We can. Mm -hmm walk on right. water so to speak we can have moments of that as and we can see our own journey changing mm -hmm. we've become more peaceful life gets easier right. we have more comfort seems like different levels you know yeah. i think even joel would say that you know he'd, he'd find himself get to a plateau or a place where he says i think i've i think yeah, i understand i, 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 I think i've got, I got it, it. <laughs> and then two days later it's like where did that go yeah. and begin again and you can't live on yesterday's mana, yeah. as they'll say. But it just, you, you keep on. You keep on keeping on is what you do. But yeah. I don't know that all the people that I know that are within this whole study and, and way of work, um, they, they each day begin by remembering. And I think that's, I think we have everything within us. I yes. think we were born, and, and if they, again, they'll say there's no birth, there is no death, life is no. eternal. Yes. And that means that we already had, we came in with spirit, yeah. but it's remembering, yeah. continually going back to that place. Yeah. And there's a lot of traffic out here in the outer world, yeah. and we talked about that earlier. We're being bombarded by commercials, by you know, TV and, and all know. The, um, the, the news and all the things that go on. Yeah. And to take moments away from that and remember that that mesmeric pull yeah. and that um, you know, illusionary world sometimes yeah. can appear to be scary, fearful. It is. And we don't know what to do. Well, we never will know what to do. No. On one level, again, mysticism is getting to a place where we don't have to do anything yeah. but the trust and the belief we have yeah. in the that love we are going to be taken care of. Yeah, that love is the yeah. only real process from mm -hmm. the heart it's what's real so if we hear a lot of nonsense that doesn't come from a loving place we can nothing nothing izing yeah. it or change the channel change the channel <laughs> oh i love to gosh. do that i love yeah. to do that i know i know because there's so much stuff going flapping out there mm -hmm. that really needs to be dissolved mm -hmm. And yeah, so yeah. we can have a little, we can feel okay. Right. We can feel the world is not going to blow up and all mm -hmm. of these frightening well, things. You know, again, there's a responsibility with everyone to do their own individual work, which means taking time and to remembering, again, their source. Yeah. You know, you talked before about the tree of life, yeah. and if we are all branches on that tree, and that's spiritual fruitage, really. Yeah. You have an expression, yeah. and you go through your day. It's, um, it's just knowing, again, um, I guess a little wake-up moments during yeah. the course of the day yeah. where you do change channels yeah. or reframe <laughs> what's being said. Words are very powerful. Yeah. I was reading, too, the other day that when, uh, because we talk sometimes about transitioning and mm -hmm. there is no death, I like this that it says when your service is up, it'll be up. And that will be end of story where you move on to something else. But the fa when your assignment is up and mm -hmm. it's out of your hands, I really like that. Mm -hmm. So when I wake up and I'm here, mm -hmm. I'm thinking, okay, I'm still on assignment. Right. And then that's fine. <laughs> I'll pick up my briefcase. and right. Yeah, it's, a, it's, it's revitalizing. Okay, I'm yes. on assignment. Yeah. It really is. Yeah. The how mystical I, assignment. Yeah. <laughs> how can I refine it more? How can I do better with mm -hmm. my assignment? Refine me, mm -hmm. spirit, you know, right. creator, whoever lives through me. Keep mm -hmm. refining me. Help me be more focused, more private, more meditative, you mm -hmm. know. Help me get there. Yeah. Then you have an opportunity to share with those who want to know more, I who know. are actually ready to, yeah. at the level, to be able to bring yeah. in some of that. Virginia Stevenson, who we talked about yeah. before, and um, I love to just talk a little bit about her, her Bible study is amazing, and you can find her on um, Aloha Mystics. I'm uh, sure it'll be on the, um, on the uh, end of the graphics, but yeah. alohamystics.com. And she goes through all of the scriptures, and, and Joel asked her to do Bible work, and it was just so wonderful because the foundation, again, of the Infinite Way, yes, these are all mystics who have given their work, but again, t to know that the spiritual scriptures, you know, is really the foundation of it the is. work. It is. It and, is. And, um, you know, 
that's, that's one way. Another thing I was just thinking about, I wanted to show, remember we talked about the compendium? Yeah. Last time? I yeah. brought a copy. Can Yay. you just take that one out? That would be great. Uh, I certainly will. This is um, oh, a compendium beautiful. of all of Joel's work. And again, this is from um, Mystics of the World. You know, Denise Jutras, who lives in Southwark, Maine. Yeah. And she compiled all of Joel's work, if you can imagine. I can't. This has 13 hours, you know, <laughs> of all of the tapes. She has each of them in one section. All of the books and all the subtitles and everything in here. I should probably hold that there so it can be seen. That is an amazing piece of work for anybody who's an infinite way student, serious infinite way student, yeah. to have yeah. in, in their possession. Yeah. And it's called the Compendium. That's well, you know, our friends also, we can remind them that the infinite way is um, not organized. Mm -mm. It's invisible. Right. It's not, um, I, I know Joel needed to go beyond Christian science just because of the organization. He needed to make it, you know, just, we'll call it man of the street mysticism. I mean, we, we're all sharing it, and it doesn't have to be a form of a temple, a church, or an organization. We just all work and privately, and we do what we can. Mm -hmm. And, and there's so so much support, as you say, with spirit, right. with folks that are working it. with you, yeah. absolutely, and sharing it. Absolutely. We've got to give it away. And this was the other resource here. This has been wonderful to just talk about. Um, I'm not sure this can be seen, but hopefully. Oh yes. Okay. This is the um, tape group that yes. I told you about. It's called um, Goldsmith Global. Yeah. All over the world, there are students who tune in every week. <sighs> And they just completed the book, uh, Leaving Your Nets. And each, oh. each show, that there's a, um, a book that's discussed. And, it, well, actually, it's the tapes. Joel's tape is being played. But it's all in silence. People uh, all over the world are uh, tuning uh, in. And that, that will be on the um, graphics, I think, as well. Yeah. But this is like Liz and Marty Parker, who, they're amazing. And they have really, truly constructed this whole, you know, tape group so that people can, yeah. all over the world, tune in. Yeah. And even Liz has a part on the website where you can, it's like a guided tour where you can go to certain parts right. of we the... We have uh, one minute to go. Now, if I were to pull that up, Google mm -hmm. it, does it say when you click on it to start? Yes. Oh, it tells everything. It, it, it does. Fact, it makes it Liz clear. Liz walks you through at the website and talks about so how you So you won't miss it if you no. want the 8 o'clock. You talk can sit about, there and wait for it to start? Is that Well, what? it'll it'll explain everything, and all you do is you go to um, Goldsmith Global. Okay. Com, okay. And it'll have everything on. It'll walk you through it and, uh, in a less technical way. Yeah. Well, we have to check out, but Diane, yeah, thank you for all your resources, and we will talk again Absolutely. coming up. But I want to thank my friends for joining us on Awaken the Dream. We'll talk to you again soon.